Hey guys, before you watch this video, just want to let you know that this is specifically for Forge. Um, so you want to make sure that the mods that you download are Forge mods. If not, it's not going to work, and uh, that's why there's other ways in installing mods. But a lot of mods that you're going to use are going to use Forge. That's why it's the most popular way to install mods. And not only that, it's easy. So, thanks. Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to install Minecraft mods. We're going to be using Forge for this because it's probably the easiest way to do it. There are other ways, but this is the easiest way. And easy is good. Who doesn't like easy? I mean, you don't want to do all this shit that you don't have to do when you have to move all these folders. You just want to play the game! You just want to play- Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the first link down below in the description. It's going to take you to this website for the Minecraft Forge. Um, all you're going to do is you're going to scroll down, and you want to look at the download recommended section. And then you're going to hover over install win, and you're going to click on that. It's going to take you to another page. And you're just going to sit there for about five seconds. And it's going to, um, it's just an ad. And once it goes through all that, you're going to click on skip and the files should start to download. Um, just let it download, it's only like, it's, what is it, 4.2 megabytes, not that long. Once it downloads, you can go ahead and open it. And if you're not using Chrome, it's probably going to go to your downloads folder or the default folder that you have for all your downloads. And just go there, double click on it, same concept here. Once you open it, it's going to open up this little window. And you're going to want to make sure that the install client is selected. You don't want anything else down below. Once you have that selected, make sure that you have your path uh, to the default Minecraft, well, wherever your Minecraft folder is. If you can't find it, it's usually, if not always, is going to be an app data roaming in the dot .minecraft. Um, but once that's all correct, go ahead and click OK. It's going to go and install. This is going to take a while. Alright, so it's been five days. Um should be successful if it's not it might come up with a little error usually it's an org.scala error um uh it's it's an easy fix just let me know in the comment section down below if you're having any errors shouldn't have any errors um but once it's successful go ahead and click ok and your forge is basically installed not that hard um so now let's get to the part where you actually add the mods Alright, so in order to add a mod, you're going to need a mod in the first place. So I suggest going to Planet Minecraft or any other site. There's thousands of sites out there for mods for Minecraft. Um, so, uh, if you're following me, go to Planet Minecraft. Once you get there, go over to the Browse tab. Click on Mods if you're not familiar with it. And you're just going to look for a mod that you want. If not, you already have one. <sighs> Alright, so about, uh, looks like uh, 50 minutes. Uh, I finally found a mod I wanted. Uh, for the past six years of playing Minecraft, I've been waiting for this mod to come out, uh, for someone to build it, make it, you know, and it finally has the decorative blocks mod, and now that it's out, I can download it and add it to my game. So, once you find the mod, click on the file mirror, a lot of times it's gonna come up with an ad fly thing, uh, just wait the five seconds. If it doesn't come up, it's probably because you have ad block on your Chrome or Firefox, just remove that, or just disable it, um... And once you click on skip add, it's going to download the file or take you to another site where the file is uh, at, and then you download it there. Once the file downloads, it's going to download as a jar file. That's usually what it is. Uh, if not, it'll be a RAR file. Open that, and usually a jar file is in there. Alright, so before we start adding the mods to the folder where it's supposed to be designated to, we're going to go ahead and get the launcher set up so that we have to, you know, hassle with it later. So what you're going to do is go ahead and you're going to open up Minecraft. And once that opens, you're going to go ahead and click on the new profile button on the bottom left corner. And uh, for profile name, I suggest naming it uh, Forge so that you know the difference between the two of your main profile and the uh, Forge profile with all your mods. So we're going to name that Forge. And then you're going to go to the bottom here at Use Version. And you're going to click on that and scroll down to the bottom. And you're going to see Release 1.9.4 Forge or whatever the current version of Forge that is out. Once you do that, go ahead and save the profile, and we have that step done. You can go ahead and close out of that, and I'll go ahead and show you where to put the mod. So in order to install your mod, you're going to have to add it to your Minecraft directory. Um, 
it's not that hard if you know how to get there great uh, i'm just going to show you anyway um all you do is go to your uh, just open up a folder and click in the top bar up here and then type in percent app data and it'll take you straight to the app data um, folder where your minecraft directory is you'll see dot minecraft click on that and you're going to want to make a mods folder it's not going to be there uh, if this is your first time so just right click new folder and name it mods all lowercase make sure that's uh, all lowercase you got to make sure open that and you're going to go ahead and drag in the mod that you downloaded and again make sure it's a jar file and if it's RAR just open it up and should be a jar file inside of it so that's uh, basically it uh, some key points to point out make sure that the uh, mod is the same version of forge uh, you know that's basically all you got to know and uh, also make sure that the mods that you're throwing into the mod folder are jar files uh, anything else it's not gonna work and I mean if it's out of date too it's not gonna work you have an error when you open up the Minecraft game and uh, well yeah that's about it so be sure to like and subscribe and uh, you know let me know in the comments section down below if you have any suggestions or any comments or if you need some help I'll be I'll be more than glad to help you guys out um, so yeah see ya